Hey everybody, Chad here from Far Beyond Snoopy, and it is time for another non-alcoholic beer review. And today we're going to be talking about another one from Athletic Brewing out of uh, Connecticut. And this is uh, one I've been wanting to try for a while. This is their Cerveza Atletica. And this is a uh, non-alcoholic light copper. Let me pour this up real quick, and then I'll uh, I'll show you the uh, the can and kind of talk about why I wanted to try this one. Look at that body. I'm not usually a dark beer person, but sometimes I like beers like this, and I'll, I'll tell you why here in just a second. Okay, um, here's the can. I'm just going to go around this real quick so you guys can get a good look at that. Okay, so um, why I wanted to review this one. Uh, okay, so I uh, I like tacos. I do. My, uh, my wife and I, we make tacos and fajitas and whatnot all the time. Um, we don't eat out as much as we used to, obviously, due to, the, due to COVID, but um, we love Mexican food. And uh, whenever I eat Mexican food, I always like to have like a uh, like a Modelo or like a Dos Equis or something like that. Usually I'd go for a Dos Equis um, just because it, it went better with the Mexican food. Um, but there's I haven't really found a non-alcoholic that I like that kind of gives me the same vibes as that one. This one really hits that mark. I'll read you the description real quick because it does kind of uh, tap into that. Um, Cerveza Atletica is a refreshing Mexican light copper lager made with summertime refreshing in mind. A unique blend of premium Vienna and Munich malts provide a rich copper hue with an aroma and flavor of delicate bread crusts that are balanced with light spicy and floral notes from the noble hop German Herzbrücker. It's balanced with a dry finish and pairs perfectly with spicy salsa and fish tacos. Um, 12 ounce can here, uh, less than 0.5 on the ABV, um, 15 IBUs. I bought this from Athletic Brewing. Now by itself it's $12.99, but I bought two six packs. Um, so my price shipped was $27.78. They give you free shipping when you get two six packs. That's a nice bonus. But uh, price per can was like $2.32 a can. So you can't beat that. Uh, now I'll show you this again. Um, again, look at that beautiful color. Nice dark amber, bronze, caramel color. Decent head on it, good amount of carbonation. Man, it's got some body to it, too. Now, in the aroma, definitely has that, that, that Mexican lager vibe. Uh, malty, grassy, slightly floral. It definitely has a bread-like quality to it. Almost a faint citrus in there as well. Um, the color, again, I just, I just showed you that beautiful dark color. Um, in the mouth, it's very full-bodied. I mean, this is probably one of the most substantial beers I've had in terms of how it feels in the mouth for a non-alcoholic. Um, medium to full body, decent amount of carbonation. I mean, it's got a pretty good, uh, a pretty good hit with it in terms of how it feels in the mouth. As far as the flavor goes, it definitely captures that lager taste. Um, good amount of malt to it, slightly bitter but not overly bitter, kind of some caramel, um, like a, a toasty type of tone to it, a light floral presence, um, not super hoppy. I mean, you can kind of dig out the hop flavor, but it's it's more of that, that malty caramel type of flavor. Um, very faint citrus in there, not a whole lot, um, those mild grassy presences to it, but it's more of like a good like malty lager. Definitely has a nice body to it. finish is really smooth. It's not a really crisp finish. Um, goes down really smooth. Really nice aftertaste. As it's going down, you're really tasting a lot of that caramel, a lot of that malty presence to it. Um, very well balanced flavor profile. Before we check out my rating on it, what I talked about in the beginning, Mexican food, uh, things like that. Um, it's great with that. We made tacos the other night, um, last week I think. It may have been last week, I remember. Uh, sometime in the past few days we had tacos and uh, I had this one with it and uh, it paired great. So you don't have to have a, a beer with your Mexican food. This is just fine. If you go to a Mexican restaurant, I don't think they're going to let you bring this inside. Uh, but if you're cooking it at home, there you go. I mean, they got you covered. So that uh, that's the review. Um, now let's check out my final thoughts. Let's see what I ultimately thought of this one and how it rated for me. Go ahead and mash that thumbs up button like there's no tomorrow. Leave a comment about how rad this video is. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to find out when we put awesome new videos up. In terms of non-alcoholics, this is probably one of the better ones I've had. Now, I'm more of an IPA guy, so this isn't something I'd drink all the time, but it is something I would keep around. And when I rate, I look at staying power. Um, there's very few that I, I keep around, and this is one I'd keep around because it has a place in my rotation, and it's good with, with certain types of food that I cook a lot. Um, so I'm going to give this one two thumbs up. Um, mainly, um, 
the flavor, yes, is one part of that rating, but also kind of the staying power for it, the food pairing attributes. I mean, it's got a lot going on that I'm very pleased with. Um, you know, usually my two thumbs up are reserved for more IPAs, but um, this one really captures a lot of what I like in, in beers, and uh, it's fully deserving of that rating. So uh, I guess I'm going to get out of here, guys. That wraps it up for me. Thanks for watching another NA Beer Review here on Far Beyond Snoopy. We'll see you next time, and of course, cheers.